Hi there, it's Mark here from Mark My Words. On this channel, we help people fast track a comeback from a serious life setback. So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Want to consider subscribing to this channel. That way you'll be up to date with all that's happening on the channel as we upload new content. Hey, have you ever wondered, how am I going to ever get back to where I was prior to my setback? Have you ever wondered how will I ever rebuild? And if it's taken me 20 years or 15 years or 25 years to get to where I was prior to my setback, how do I get back there faster than it took me the first time around because I don't have that many years left? Maybe you've thought that. Maybe you are in your 40s or your 50s and you've lost everything and you're really deeply concerned about finishing your life well and getting back, not just getting back, but actually getting more, being in a stronger position than you were prior to when things started to turn pear-shaped for you. You know, in my case, I was in my 40s when my marriage collapsed, my business collapsed, and I was at 42 years of age, broke in all areas of my life, physically, mentally, financially, in every area. And, you know, I wanted to rebuild. I'd made the decision to rebuild my life. I wanted to rebuild financially. I wanted to rebuild physically. I wanted to rebuild uh, a lot of who I was. I took the opportunity to begin with a clean slate and uh, rebuild physically, mentally, financially, and uh, in other key areas as well. And I started to begin to think about what it would take to fast track my comeback. And in particular, I want to start to think about fast tracking my comeback financially. And uh, so I went from being 20 years in my own business, right, self-employed, uh, then to having it all go uh, up in smoke uh, in just after the global financial crisis in 2008. And I, for a while, went back and worked a job. And my mindset was I just had to get some stability financially. And if that's you um, right now, you know, you've, you, you've, fought, you've got massive uh, chaos when it comes to your financial life as a result of your setback. And you might owe, for example, child support. You might have uh, some debts and some business loans. You might have car loans and home loans and investment loans and a whole bunch of credit card debt as a result of um, just uh, you know residual debt from, from your collapse, from your business or, or relationship collapse. And you're wondering how on earth you are ever going to uh, get back uh, into a position of strength financially. So today's video, I want to talk to you just about a, some, some concepts that I believe can help you fast track your comeback financially. So when we begin this journey, uh, once we get through the initial shock of what's happened to us, we need to sit down and think about what we're looking to create because the truth is that if it's taken you 10 or 20 years to get to, to, get to a certain result, prior to your setback, you know, a certain position of net worth, a certain income, uh, whether that be through your own business or through um, being an employee working for a, someone else that has their own business. Um, you know, basically, we've got to be thinking about how we can get back to where we were faster than what it took us to get there the first time around. Because in my case, you know, I didn't want to get to 60 years of age, at 42 years of age, I'm thinking if it takes me the same length of time to get to where I was at the second time as the first time, I'm going to be in my 60s and still um, not be really, you know, um, where I want to be. So I had to start thinking about some uh, different ways of thinking. And uh, so I want to share these with you today. Hopefully they'll add some value to you and just maybe challenge some of the thoughts that you have and give you some encouragement around the fact that you can fast track and make a mighty comeback. Because uh, I believe that you can, um, in, in particularly now, fast track financially in ways that perhaps weren't 
around, you know, five or 10 or 15 years ago. So first step, really number one, is to be thinking about, ultimately, it's going to be really difficult to create wealth by saving uh, income or sa- have a savings program from a job income. So if you've got a job, for example, you're an employee, and you might have a solid income, and you're meeting all your commitments, but you barely, you know, once you've paid your home loan, your car loan, your personal loans, your credit cards, and you, your living expenses, your utility, utility bills and child support, if you have that, there's not much left over. In fact, you might be in a position where you've got more month left at the end of the money, as opposed to more money left at the end of the month, which is the ideal place to be. But if you're in a place where you've got more month left at the end of the money, then, um, you know, obviously uh, it can't stay that way uh, for any length of time and, and, and create significant progress financially in a short length of time if you can't basically make traction on a regular basis. And so, you know, savings from a, on a monthly basis from an, from an income that's finite uh, is going to be a hard road to hoe. So what else could you do that could actually fast track your comeback? You know, from so many guys, it's, it's a challenge to think about if you come from a business background and you're used to business and you're used to being in your own business, what I'm about to talk to you about is a lot easier for you to comprehend than if you've been used to working as a employee or on wages working for someone else's business. Because you know, if you're used to being an employee and you've never had your own business and you're in your mid-40s, for example, there's a whole new level of learning needs to take place for you to really comprehend what it takes to build a business out of uh, out of nothing and 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 ultimately uh, have it grow in value and so and this is what I'm, I'm leading to ultimately to in my opinion to, to fast track your comeback financially you are going to need to consider sooner or later being in business for yourself simply because it's going to be really difficult to um, be in a position of strength financially on a regular savings pl- program using salary or or wages uh, as a source of income because there's just not enough there and it's a, it's a finite amount of money because <clears throat> you know companies can only afford to pay you so much before you become a liability right and um, and so and if you're if you're you know if you're working on a on a per hour or per week or per year whatever it is you do per there's a limit to what you can earn because there's a limit to what you can do there's a limit to how many hours you can put in per week or fortnight or or month depending on what your pay cycle is so thinking about a business basically enables you to start thinking about building not just an income but also an asset and you know obviously it it has the benefit of um, having uh, increase value financially both from a from an income perspective and from an asset value perspective so for example just some things to think about uh, i would suggest that you know having a business that's uh, in business number one so be in business to, to create a mighty comeback financially you know if you're in business already fantastic if you're not in business for yourself already then at least consider that as an option moving forward because Basically, you want to be in a position where, in your own business, let's say you what you what what sort of business do you start? What sort of business do you need to create to fast track your comeback? Well, it has to have a few components, in my opinion, right? So, think about something which is um, uh, something which you can sell. In other words, it's saleable. Now, you know, if you're in your own business and it's all reliant on you and your skill set and you might have for example a a a skill set let's say you're in a you're a music teacher and you're in your own business and you are talent you're a talented musician in playing some instrument or uh, instruments and you've got a clientele uh, uh, customers and the challenge with that is that financially it's even though it's a passion it might not be something that you can do for money long term to create wealth because ultimately you are the magic of that business. If you take you out of that business, right, and your skills, 
there's not a lot there to sell. There's no income earning ability because you're not there, right? So when you think about business, you've got to think about how do I create a business and a, 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 an attractive outcome financially despite of me, not because of me. All right, so it's a little bit different way to think because then when you've got an income that's built, um, which you've created, obviously you're the magic initially because it's all about you because you're the only person in it when you first start, right? But then as you start to grow and you start to engage more people, maybe you engage some partners or a partner. Maybe you engage investors. Maybe you engage uh, people who can do the execution. So you might have the ideas and the creativity but the execution part is, is something you need support and help with. So you start to engage people who can execute. Uh, but whatever it is, you want to be in a position where you're thinking about ultimately uh, an exit strategy. Because, you know, the truth is that if you've got, if you've got on, um, uh, if you can present an income and a business model that generates cash flow, uh, despite of you, in other words, you can step out of it and someone else can step in and step into it, and it still works. That business has significant value for investors. Okay, so is it saleable? Number one. The next one is similar to the word scalable, but is it uh, scale? It says scalable. <laughs> in other words, what is the scalability of that business? So, do you have? Do you have a business that has a finite potential because it's limited to how many customers you can serve in a day? For example, you know, if you're, you might be in the medical profession, right? Now, even though you might have a good income, ultimately, um, if it's all about you and what you do per patient or per day or per week in terms of how many patients you look after, there's a limit to how much you can do, right? Obviously. So therefore, there's a limit to what you can earn. So is it scalable? Not necessarily. So what you want to be thinking about is, what can I create that has a scalability? In other words, it has an unlimited potential. It's not finite in its potential, but it has an unlimited potential. And how do I duplicate myself? And how do I replicate myself? And how do I systematize a business that enables me to uh, generate that business and that business for that business to function uh, not because of me, uh, but despite of me. <laughs> it still has the support and the system in place to still generate income with or without you. Again, you know, does it have the potential to, to grow? Does it have the potential to be exposed to you know, a local um, marketplace or is it a marketplace which, which is potentially anywhere? These days with the internet, obviously, we can build businesses that are global in nature, potentially, right, with the internet. Um, so I would, I would encourage you to start thinking about, can I scale my business? Or what steps do I need to put in place to enable me to scale my business? Because the scalability or the potential of it can be potentially unlimited with the right um, focus and structure and infrastructure in place particularly, as I said, with the internet now uh, enabling us to reach marketplaces that we couldn't reach maybe 10 or 20 years ago. So think about the saleability, think about the scalability. And think about um, if you're currently in a position where you are working because uh, you need to work because you've got immediate commitments right now, you're going to meet these commitments uh, as a result of your fallout or, or your setback. You know, um, it may have to be another S, which is a side hustle, right? In other words, yeah, let's put this down here, side hustle. So this is something that you may have to build in your spare time. In other words, as a side, your primary focus at the moment is what you're doing right now, okay? Because you have immediate commitments and, and immediate needs that need to be met financially, but ultimately, your exit strategy financially and to fast track your mighty comeback financially, you need to just take on the mindset of, you know, what can I do in my spare time after hours uh, as a side hustle that has the potential to grow into something significant? You know, and what are, what are you, how are you spending your spare time? Um, are you just flopping on the couch at home at night 
with a remote in one hand and a bucket of KSC in the other, uh, just trying to you know relax from a stressful day at work, or are you putting necessary action steps in place uh, towards your side hustle to educate yourself and to put some uh, infrastructure in place to create a potential business that can help you fast track your comeback. Imagine if you're able to create something that was scalable, that had that, that was saleable as well. It had a, a real uh, um, market potential out there for other investors or other business owners to look at that, that would be happy to take it on uh, because it has a regular ongoing income attached to it and it was scalable. So it had a, a potential to grow into a bigger income or a bigger result. And, you know, you created that in addition to what you were doing. And then it started to take over financially. So it started to work for you financially. And so now you've got, uh, you may not have to do what you're doing today at, at a job or your traditional business because your side hustle now becomes the primary source of income for you. And you continue to work that for the next period of time, maybe 12 months, two years, four years, five years. It has scalable potential. It has a saleability attractiveness to a potential other business owner or investor. You know, and, and, and if your revenue was net, for example, um, an amount, you know, the saleable asset value of that business is generally two or three times that net amount per year. So for example, for, for an exit strategy, let's say you wanted to uh, create um, something of asset value, business, and cash flow value, right? Cash flow. You've got your cash flow, which is ongoing in nature, and you have then your ability to be able to not be there. So, because it's systematized and it's scalable, it has scalable potential, and it's saleable, it's very saleable, and you can walk your way out of that business and it still generate financial outcomes in attractive financial income outcomes. Then that business has a value, and it's a significant value. For example, if you had a business that had a, you know, say for example, using numbers, a million dollar revenue, and you're able to retain 25% uh, of that in net profit, okay, that business now has a, has an asset value of anywhere between, you know, half a million conservatively, $500,000 up to $2 million in value, depending on the nature of the business. And if you're able to create that in the next two to four years, five years, even 10 years, you know, that is a much better outcome than what you would have had on the savings program under your old job or your old business or your old income from a, from a job. So just be considering that, you know, your ability to fast track your financial breakthrough and comeback is in your capacity to create something out of nothing based on your imagination based on your awareness of the marketplace to see what needs are in the community right now that you believe you can help um, solve problems because the, the best, you know, the most wealthiest people on the planet are the ones who can solve the most problems, right? So are you looking around at, in your world and saying, you know, what problems need to be solved and what could I do to perhaps fill that gap and solve some of those problems? Uh, and what am I passionate about? What are my skill sets? What are my weaknesses? Who do I need to engage to help me create something out of nothing? What education gaps do I need in my own uh, capacity to be able to make sure that I can create something out of nothing successfully? And if you can put all that together in the next two to four years as a side hustle, you know, and you can exit it out of, uh, you know, sell it on to someone else that has a passion or some cash to invest in a great outcome, a great return, then all of a sudden you can do that once, you can do it maybe twice and three times over the next 10, 15 years, you get to a your stage where at retirement you're in a very strong position financially. So this video today is all about encouraging you to think about what you can do in your spare time uh, after you finish work you know, they say that a living is made from nine to five and you'll make a fortune after five. And that is very true when it comes to making a mighty comeback in your life financially. How can you best invest the time that you do have in your own education? The best investment you can make is in that piece of real estate between your ears. 
is in your knowledge, in your capacity. Think about saleability, think about scalability, and thinking about what you can do as a side hustle initially, particularly if your primary job or business right now is needing your total focus to meet your immediate commitments. Hey, if you like what's on this channel, hey, consider subscribing to it. Also, in the descriptions panel below, I've got some links to some content which I believe can help you fast track your comeback. One of those is my 10 breakthrough steps. These are the 10 breakthrough steps that I took to help me fast track my mighty comeback. And they are yours today free. I will ask you for your email address, whack that in, and I'll be able then to email those straight to you. And they'll help you, I'm sure, just like they did me. So thank you for joining me today. I hope this video has added some value to you and got you challenged around your thinking. If you have any questions about what I've covered today, leave them in the comments section below and I'll make sure I can answer those for you because you know there's never been a better time to really think about how you can really fast track your mighty comeback and don't be thinking that it's going to take me as long as I did the first time around because the truth is it doesn't have to we'll see you next time